Hello everyone and welcome to our video presentation of our project entitled as Power Factor Measurement of Small Power System. The main objective of this project is to measure power factor of an AC system. The main project has two parts, hardware part and software part. As there is a link between hardware and software part, we will go through sequentially. First, we will describe our project instruments and setup. This video is to present the project power factor measurement for a small power system. The objective of our project is to establish a measurement system to measure the magnitude and wave shape of voltage and current across the load and to measure the power factor of the load. For this small power system, as load, we have used bulb, CFL light, capacitor bank, and to analyze the current and voltage, we have used Arduino board, potential and current transformer. And via the Arduino board, the data of current and voltage is sent to the computer. And then the computer analyzes the data using MATLAB. Now we look at the load system. We have the main supply of 230 volt, but the Arduino board cannot operate over 5 voltage. So we have used potential transformer. The potential transformer transforms the main supply of 230 volt to its secondary 8.35 volt. This 8.35 volt is even not less than 5 voltage. So we have used voltage divider using resistors to send the data to the Arduino board. This, then the current transformer also transforms the current to smaller scale so that it can be analyzed using Arduino board as Arduino board cannot analyze current directly. So we have passed this current across our resistance and the voltage drop is then analyzed in the Arduino board. Overall, as we are Oper as we are working with alternating current, here we see this alternating current cannot be analyzed in Arduino board as Arduino board can only operate with positive voltage. So we have introduced a DC offset of 1.73 volt to analyze the data in Arduino board. The offset of 1.73 volt is used so that the voltage and current data cannot go over 5 voltage. This is the safe range of voltage offset. Then the data are analyzed in the Arduino board using the ADC portion of this board. And then the data is sent to computer via COM port using MATLAB code. In the software part, there are two parts. First one is Arduino code and second one is MATLAB code. First I am going to describe the Arduino code. In Arduino code, we first declare two pins to send the voltage and current data into our computer. We have set the baud rate to 115200 for real time data transfer and we have given a total of 20 millisecond delay. Now I am going to describe the MATLAB code. Here we are calculating voltage, current, real power, reactive power and power factor. First we have declared our necessary variables. As we are measuring 230 volt AC voltage line, we have set Y axis from minus 400 to plus 400. After declaring the variables, we set up the plots. Here we have voltage and current plots. So we create them in one window by using subplot. Now we are ready for the serial communication with our Arduino board. Here we use TikTok function for real time data communication. We will plot the graphs with respect of time. After reading the data we will do some calculation. We have used potential transformer and current transformer in our setup and also offset DC voltage. So we have to do some calculation to get the real values of voltage and current. Here data 1 and data 2 
are correspondingly showing the voltage and current. Now from these values we can calculate real power, reactive power and power factor using power calculation formula. We have made a table to show the data. In every 5 seconds the table will update the values. We have also set the axis for real time simulation as the voltage and current plot will update in real time. Now we will see some demonstration of our project. Now we demonstrate our project. Here there is no load connected at first. So there are no currents in the wave shape. At first we connect a capacitive load 3.5 microfarad capacitor bank is connected in the load system and so we observe the voltage and current shape this is the voltage and current shape the lower part is the voltage shape and the upper part is the current shape and we observe the power factor the power factor value is updated after every 5 seconds so we can observe that the power factor is below 0.4 or around 0.4 sometimes now we will connect a resistive load an electric bulb and now we see the change in current and wave now we will add resistive load an electric bulb and we will observe the change in the current shape. The wave shape of current is has been smoother and the power factor has changed from 0.4. The 0.4 capacitor power factor has been changed to almost 1 as the resistive load is connected here and the resistive load consumes the larger portion of the load. Now we will be adding CFL and we will observe the change in the current shape. And we will observe the change in power factor. The power factor has been changed for the addition of CFL load and the data is updated after every 5 seconds. So this is our project. Thanks for watching this video.